Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, this is going to be a little bit weird, um, and we're going to be going on a little bit of a uh, stalking kind of thing. Um, just kidding. But the new Boston, when I was first getting my channel started in, in 2013, um, the, uh, the the influence of actually starting my, my YouTube channel actually came from the new Boston um, and some of his Python stuff. And I really just, I liked his teaching, his teaching style, especially when I was first getting started and like nothing was making sense. He had this like, you know, down to earth kind of uh, way about him. And, and I, and I like that. And I still do. Um, although I would, you know, I have not, I, I can't like pretend to act like I've been like viewing his content over the years. I just haven't had too much time or, uh, really, I, I wouldn't say the need or anything, but I just, I kind of use other avenues, um, in many cases when I'm trying to learn new things, but, um, his stuff was, was always really good. And I guess the question I posed in this video is like, what the hell happened to him? Um, it's been like 10 months and, and he hasn't posted anything. But what I find absolutely crazy about that is like he kind of stopped when he hit the million mark. Like he had a million subscribers and now he's got 600,000 more than that. And it's almost like he just like he just fell off the face of the map. So I'm curious like, you know, what he's doing, uh, you know, why he left. Uh, I guess in a way just because um, although he's much more popular, obviously has way more views and all that stuff. Um, I've always like like sometimes I kind of have like this reflective look at what I do on YouTube and. Uh, and when I'm talking to like coworkers or friends and, and, you know, most of the, you know, I, I would say pretty much everybody, uh, you know, there's some naysayers or whatever, but pretty much everybody's like, yeah, that's cool that, you know, that you do what you do. And, um, and I think in some cases, you know, there may be like, you know, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to say like, you know, hopefully there, there's not like people that are jealous out there or whatever. Like, I know that that exists, um, to some extent, uh, because people will see how, you know, you're making you know, money or like. Uh, you know, Dev Mountain is sponsoring your content. Like, what you know, why do you think you're such a great programmer? All this stuff. And um, the interesting thing there is, like, I've never claimed to be, but uh, with with the new Boston, like, he got a lot of criticism on some of his tutorials. Once you get that big, like, people are like, well, who the hell are you to be teaching other people and things like that? And the simple fact is, like, nobody has to listen to the new Boston, and nobody has to watch Chris Hawks either. If people choose to do that and you choose to get things out of it, uh, then that's great. Uh, but like people have that freedom of, of, of learning from who they want to learn from. Um, I was in college and, and still pursuing my business degree when I was watching the new Boston. I was also successful in living in a, in a, in a you know decent house and everything. Like I had I had some success going for me at that time. So what I'm trying to say is I feel like I had enough. Uh, know-how and knowledge where I wasn't going to be like led blindly uh, down some dark path that's going to ruin my career or something like that just because I watched new Boston videos. That wasn't the case at all. In fact, it was enough to like where I'm like, man, Python's really starting to click. I really like his Python stuff. Um, and then like a year or two later, I ended up starting my own channel. Um, and then here here I am, uh, you know, four years down the road. But that's uh, it. So I had the choice of going to his videos and watching his stuff and and I wasn't like expecting to be promised the world or anything like that. So basically the criticism is bullshit is what I'm trying to say because he actually influenced a lot of people to do a lot of different things. Um, and people are always going to criticize, man. People criticize success. They criticize failures and everything else. But uh, my main question with this video is just simply like, where the hell did he go? I wonder if any of you guys out there, because I know you guys have watched his, his series and things like that. Um, I'm just curious if any of you guys know, uh, what made him drop off the map? And and while we're you know in in here looking, we can look at uh, pretty much public things uh, to figure out you know where where somebody is. Like it's not like we're really stalking or anything like that. But um, Bucky is clearly on GitHub and he's clearly doing commits uh, as of you know even yesterday. So so clearly out of, out of Pasadena, California, he's working on something, uh, but he just doesn't do the tutorials anymore. But um, I don't know. I just find it really interesting. Like, you know, he just kind of rode off into the sunset for at least the last 10 months. Uh, and maybe he felt like there wasn't enough views and things like that on some of these videos. I mean, because um, I'm sure he's had videos that have had hundreds of thousands of views. And then here is ES6 stuff is pulling in 32,000 views. And, and I can tell you firsthand, you're not going to make any real money doing that. So, um, yeah, I mean, if this is like your primary bread and butter, and like you're expecting, like you, you know, he probably put in, some, you know, some decent work on these ES6 courses, 
And I can tell you based on these views here, he's just not making very much on those. Um, you're talking about maybe maybe a couple dollars a month or something like that. Uh, nothing, nothing big, nothing you could really, re you know, rely, uh, reliably depend on or anything. So uh, that may be why he bailed out. And I really think that, that it might be now clearly from a, like a large, like if you look at his overall channel, I'm sure it's making him quite a bit of money. Um, I would say easily more than a hundred thousand dollars a year, but um, that is, uh, it's just interesting. Like I said, how, you know, he just, he just wrote off, but uh, you know, I wish him the best. Just curious if you guys know what he's doing. And I uh, just thought I'd mention in, in an actual video, because I'm not sure I've ever said it in a video, but um, he, he was really the primary influence of why I started my channel back in 2013. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Hey guys, this video is also sponsored by Edoonix Learning Solutions. And they have a website called edoonix.tv uh, where you can sign up and register. If you, if you sign up, um, just by clicking sign up here, you can see that they do have different uh, price options. But if you enter the coupon code uh, Chris Hawks, you can save money. And let's go ahead and try this here. Apply. Congrats, you get a flat discount of $45. So that is the coupon code that you want to use Chris Hawks to sign up for Eduonics Learning Solutions at eduonics.tv. And by using the Chris Hawks coupon code, you get two months free as well as 50% uh, off on uh, the year so make sure you guys check that out um, also they do have a YouTube channel as well and the website or uh, channel name is Eduonix Learning Solutions and the YouTube channel is right here so make sure you guys subscribe they have a lot of different topics they're going to talk about the latest technologies it's all via online so it's not in person that makes it more convenient uh, in some cases for some people depending on where you are geographically and, um, you know, they have all kinds of different tutorials, everything from Vue.js, Angular, React, everything. So uh, make sure you guys check them out, and I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Bye.